We've been talking about this for some years now. Listen, kiss the South, man. J.D. Kiss, Greg Street. I'm going to come to the A. I'm going to stay here until we complete the joint. He know when it's complete, so I can't leave till you say we got enough, kiss. You good? Let's mix it. That's what we're going to do. We've been talking about this shit for years. We're going to finally do it. It's my brother, one of the illest. He's been showing me love since a little jit. He's still showing me love, so it's only right we get this thing out. Kiss the South. We finally going to make it happen. South, y'all know I've been down here for years before. I've been there, I've been in the A for years. Little John, D4L projects, everything. You know, y'all know what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm my he killed that little John beat for me. <laughs> he killed that OJ the Juice man. <laughs> you know, he put me on a lot of stuff, so it's time we conglomerate together and give y'all something special. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. It looks like we got a new project on the way from Jada Kiss with Greg Street called Kiss the South. If there's any artist that I would want a new mixtape from, it'd be Jada Kiss as far as like spitting over other people's beats and all that. You know, that era is kind of over with. You know, I'm not really trying to hear that. But if it was one rapper I'd want to hear do that, it'd definitely be Jada Kiss. You know, in the past, he's done, you know, South inspired mixtapes like The Champ is Here Part 3, which was a gangster grills with drama. Then he had the consignment, which was definitely a dope mixtape, you know, got heavy rotation in the whip. I wasn't really a big fan of the Champ is Here Part 3 like that. But, you know, hopefully this next upcoming mixtape is, you know, something similar to, you know, more original music but i ain't mad at a couple freestyles here and there because you know like i said if anybody can do it it'd be kiss but let me know in the comments if you agree disagree if you'd want to still hear artists rap over other niggas beats i know i don't necessarily do not even if it's fabulous not even if it's wayne it would have to be from artists we you know we know jay-z ain't doing that but he'd be one of them uh I can't really name any other artists I'd want to hear over instrumentals no more nowadays. I mean, it's kind of played out at this point, something that everybody did back in the day. But anyway, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.